So you're probably wondering why I'm showing you guys reading my Bible, but technically this is my first meal of the day. Um, as you guys saw in the previous video I put up, I think it's really important to make sure that even though you're eating healthily, that your spiritual um, life and your spiritual well-being um, is in the right place and you've actually got a relationship with God. So everything else that you do after that kind of just goes in sync and everything just works in synchrony and tandem together to get you on your way to healing. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is the PR and I'm Joanna Rach. Um, I hope you guys are having an amazing morning. Today is Friday and it is just before 10 o'clock and I'm going to be doing a um, what I eat in a day video because this is one of um, my highly requested videos and I just thought let me just get it done today because it's quite it's pretty much an easy video to record because it's more vlog style rather than sitting down um hopefully the editing won't take too long so I can get this up to you quickly but um yeah so I just wanted to show you guys what I eat in a typical day and I'll probably do this probably about four times because I don't want to just do it once and just show you like one set of meals so I'll do it like week one week two week three week four so you have like a variety of like stuff that I cook um, so this morning I've woken up and I've drank like a quarter of a bottle of Highland Spring water. Um, if you guys follow me on Instagram, which I've suggested you do quite a few times. Um, um, I spoke about yesterday how I struggled to drink water. Um, long story, like basically when I was pregnant I just felt like water made me feel sick. Israel! Um, I used to feel like water made me feel sick so even after I had my daughter I still found it difficult to drink water again. Um, so yeah, um, I've been having like a bit of problems with my um, with my digestion, especially since cutting out a lot of grains. Israel, Israel, can you stop it, please? This is why I don't do videos often enough. You just can't find the time. Anyway, um, Israel. So yeah, I've been having a few um, issues with my digestion, um, especially since I cut out grains. So. Um, yesterday i told myself that i have to drink more water so um as you guys just saw a minute ago i just made myself a cup of turmeric tea which i'll show you as well um, with a bit of honey a bit of raw honey in it um but yeah before that as i said i had a quarter of a bottle of water so my my aim is to basically drink a whole 1.5 liter bottle on top of all the herbal teas that i drink and i'll probably get through about six cups of herbal teas a day so that could be anything from turmeric tea nettle tea um vanilla chai tea and these are all like organic teas that don't really have anything else in them other than the ingredients um and i find like these are really cleansing and healing especially nettle as well so um so i, I did that yesterday i had a whole 1.5 liter bottle yesterday on top of the teas that i drink and this morning going to the toilet was so much freer so that just shows me that even if i've cut out grains my water intake needs to be seriously up there so just a word of advice for anyone and also thank you for all of those that um responded to my question on instagram giving me like tips and tricks to kind of get my digestion going as well i'll be doing that but yeah so today um i'm going to show you like three main meals that i eat today um and if i can record them or just briefly record them i'll kind of show you how i put them together um i really hope you guys enjoy this video if you find it helpful make sure to let me know in the comments um and i'll do more of them as i said and yeah i hope you guys have an amazing day see you later so usually i start my days with like a healing drink so it could be anything from lemon water to turmeric tea um nettle tea just anything that kind of like gets my digestion going in the morning and clears my digestive system out okay so we're gonna have breakfast this morning and this is what i'm gonna be eating for breakfast So, I'm really sorry, I didn't think I was going to be doing this video today, I was going to show you how I did it. Excuse the noise. So yeah, if I'd known that I was going to be um, doing this video today, I would have shown you guys how to make it. 
So basically, um, I spoke to you guys and said that I was trying to cut as much grains out of my diet because I realised that my skin heals so much quicker when I'm not eating grains. So that includes rice, oats, um, yeah. So basically, um, my NutriBullet's broken as well, so I haven't been... Um, so yeah, my NutriBullet's broken as well, so I haven't been able to have my smoothies. So that smoothies out, oats out, and I was like, what do I eat? So, um, so far in the morning I've been having Koyo yogurt, which you guys have also seen on my Instagram. Koyo yogurt with raw honey and, and um, frozen, frozen fruits. But it's really expensive, like the Koyo yogurt, um, the big tub, which I kind of split over two days. So I have half one day and half the next day. It's five pounds a pot, so if you think about it, that's me spending, I'm not good at maths, five times seven. That's 35 pounds on just yogurt. Like, it's so difficult to maintain a healthy diet when you have to spend so much money. So I'm trying to find ways to kind of like reduce the cost. Um, so uh, I remember trying chia pudding before and I really didn't like it. I'm really not a fan of cold food, especially in the morning. And um, yes, but I was like, I, I need to find something else because this Koya yogurt thing, as much as I love it, is too expensive. Um, so I wanted to try chia, chia seed pudding again and add a bit more flavor. So, so for this recipe, what I did was I, I put two mashed bananas in, which is kind of like the base for my oats as well, which is really good. So I put two bananas in the bowl, mashed up the bananas until they were like purified. Then I added two tablespoons of chia seeds and then mixed the chia seeds in. And then I added about a cup, between a cup and a cup and a half. I, I can't find my uh, measuring cups at the moment, so I just did it by eye. Um, yeah, so I added um, a cup and a cup and a half of cashew milk, which you guys have also seen on my channel. It's literally just cashews and water, which is why I love Rude Health as well. And then I added some chopped dates, and as you can see here, I've also added some pumpkin seeds. And then for seasoning or flavour, I put um, the same as my oats, so ginger, nutmeg, allspice and cinnamon to see if it will give it some flavour. So hopefully this tastes good. I'm not going to lie, I'm going to Google if you can heat up chia seeds because I'd love to have this warm. Um, but if I can't, I'll just eat it like this. Also, while I'm here, I just wanted to show you how ridiculous... Um, advertising is in the shops. Um, I don't know if you guys know her or follow her. Um, her name used to be, um, oh no, I forgot what her name used to be now, but her name's Core Health, but I'll put her um, Instagram hand on her YouTube channel in my video. But she basically spoke before about how, um, she did a video basically on how supermarkets and um, these um, brands basically market their products as being healthy and whole grain and they use all these buzzwords to make you think that their, their cereals are healthy and they're just, they're just not. So this is my dad's cereal, which is probably wondering why this is even in here. But yeah, this is my dad's cereal. I just wanted to show you the ingredients quickly and why I don't eat stuff like this. So um, a lot of people don't realize, but when you put an ingredients list together, whatever's at the top of your ingredients list has to be Whatever, whatever makes up the most of your ingredients has to be at the top and it goes down in order. So basically the first three ingredients in the cereal is what the majority of this is made out of. And as you can see, whole grain wheat is 84% and the next ingredient is sugar. Meaning that the majority of your cereal is actually sugar. And then, um, then you've got nut premix, then desiccated coconut again. It's been made with um, desiccated coconut and sugar again. So you've got sugar in there twice. Then you've got honey, which is another sweetener. Then you've got glucose syrup, which is another form of sugar. Before you've got natural flavorings, which I can tell you now are not actually natural. So you can see like how they put these cereals together and it's just full of rubbish. So anyway, this is an example of what I bought um, basically for the kids because they don't really eat like me, but I'm trying to get as much goodness into their diet as possible and then, I mean, try and make their diet like mine eventually. But yeah, so if you look at the ingredients on this, it's completely different. Let's see if the camera will play ball. So as you can see here, you've got organic oat flakes, organic wheat flakes, organic wheat, organic raisins and organic almonds. That's it. Literally, this is what your cereal needs to look like. It needs to be free from sugar and everything in it needs to be whole grain and if possible organic. So you know you're not being contaminated with um, pesticides and whatever. But yeah, so this is what the kids are going to be eating. And 
I'm going to try my cheese seed pudding. Okay, so this is the moment of truth for my chia seed porridge. I really hope it tastes good because I need an alternative, honestly. And there are the kids enjoying their cereal. <laughs> Let's see how it is. It smells good. Let's just hope it tastes good. I have no words right now. Yeah, I'm actually amazed. Yeah. I'm actually in shock as to how yeah. just adding some more ingredients to it can yeah. make such a difference. When I made chia seed pudding before, I literally only used um, coconut milk and chia seed pudding with a bit of, um, I think it might have been vanilla essence because that's the only recipes I saw. Um, but basically what I wanted to do was um, make the cheese seed pudding like my oats that I love. I showed you guys how to make already. With the mashed bananas, the dates, this, um, the, the, um, the ginger, allspice, all of that. And I just added some extra um, pumpkin seeds just for crunch and just for the nutritional benefits. It actually tastes so good. Like, obviously we better warmer, but I could fully eat this cold because it tastes so nice. Guys, I think we found a winner. I don't think you guys understand how happy I am about this. Well, there you go. There's another recipe to add to the books. I'm definitely going to put this on my blog. Because it tastes amazing. Honestly. Babe, go and eat the last bit. Good boy, go on. Can I do it, please? You do it, babe. Good boy. Well done. Eat it all. Ma, you nearly finished? Mm -hmm. Yeah, let me see. Oh, lovely, Maya. Finish it, finish it, finish it all up. This is amazing because Israel never finishes his cereal. It's funny how just adding a few changes can change everything. Literally just added more raisins, he's finished his cereal. Good boy. Well done guys. So as you can see, the time is 1.55 and I have got through three quarters of my bottle and I've only got about just over a quarter left. So I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right, guys. I'm just gonna get the kids ready now. And we're gonna pop to Waitrose and get a couple of bits for lunch and dinner. So I'll see you in a bit. So it's lunchtime right now, and I'm gonna be making my famous salad that you guys see me post up all the time. But today I'm gonna be adding um, these grilled artichokes because apparently they're really high in fiber and I need some fiber to get my digestion going again. And I'm also going to be adding some walnuts to it. And I'm going to be snacking on these while I'm getting my lunch ready because I'm eating quite late today. As you can see, it's really late. 
And then lastly, I wanted to try this and show you guys this. Um, it's an organic falafel mix that I buy from Planet Organic. And if you look at the ingredients, as I always do, if it wants to focus. This is a kibble chickpeas, brown rice flour, onion spices, ground pepper, parsley, sea salt and garlic powder. So as you can see, there's nothing in here on the ingredients list that any normal person won't recognise. And this is why I use this. And it's just so easy to make. So I'm going to put this together. And I'm going to put them in the oven instead of frying it so it's not too greasy and then just add this to my salad for lunch. So I'll show you guys when I finished it. So if you want a full rundown of how I make the salad, um, you can go into my previous videos on Eats for Eczema and see how I make my vegan salad. Um, as I said before, the only difference to it this time is I've added some walnuts for some um, added nutrition and fats, healthy fats, as well as some grilled artichokes because they are so, so tasty and really high in fibre. For the falafel mix, I actually did record how to do it, but I realised after I'd done it that the camera wasn't even on, so it's already made. But simply, you just need to put the um, the contents into a bowl, add 125 ml of boiling water, a bit of lemon juice, and a tablespoon of sunflower oil, which I've replaced, I've replaced with avocado oil. Mix it and leave it to set for 10 minutes, and then you can roll it up and then put it in the oven. This is my lunch guys, so salad, you know what's in it already, um, falafel from just Whole Foods and I've just made a quick dressing out of the rest of the hummus with a little bit of coconut vinegar and a bit of water and yeah, got to take a few pics for the gram as well. So guys as you can see it's quite late in the day now and I really do try not to eat past 8 nine o'clock um, but because I wasn't at work today and my whole day was kind of like running really behind schedule like I don't know I just yeah my day just ran away with me so by the time I had lunch it was probably like six o'clock so I'm still I'm not full but I'm peckish but not peckish enough or hungry enough to make a full meal so I'm basically gonna make um, or cut up some apples um, some organic apples and I'm also gonna cut up some um, organic kiwi fruit and I'm just gonna eat this kind of like you could say dinner and then tomorrow I'll cook for dinner what I was supposed to cook today so you guys get a full day but because I didn't really snack today because I had everything late this is basically what I would have as a snack so when I'm at work I either have a bunch of um, almonds soaked almonds or some um, walnuts as you saw me have earlier some Brazil nuts and dates and also banana depending on how hungry I am. So basically if I need to snack during the day, I always stick to like more whole foods um, which are just kind of basically fruit and nuts. So yeah, I'm just going to have this now. And then that's it for today.
people so today is saturday evening and remember i said because i didn't get my dinner in yesterday that i was gonna cook my dinner today that i was supposed to cook yesterday so you still get free meals in what i eat in a day so what happened today was um i was out for most of the day again and i didn't actually eat my dinner to even let my lunch till even later than yesterday which was about seven i didn't have my lunch till seven so once again there's probably it's unlikely that i'm going to have dinner before i go to bed because it's late but um because i wanted to put this video up on sunday morning as i usually do um what i'm going to do is i'm going to cook my dinner because it doesn't take that long it's literally just salmon um wild salmon with um with peas and salad and a bit of quinoa so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to make it um I'm going to be cheeky. If I fancy it, I'll eat it, but I'll probably just pack it away in a bowl and a plate and just eat it tomorrow for lunch before church. Um, so you guys still get your full video of what I eat in a day. So don't say I don't care about you guys. I'm actually staying up to record this. Look at the time. It is... It is 10.15. So I'm going to cook now and I'm going to edit this video tonight so you guys can see it in the morning. But yeah, so um, I really hope this video will be helpful to you guys and um, as I said before earlier on in the video I will be making um, more at least three more what I eat in a day so you get like a variety of different meals and stuff like that and at some point I will finish um, the Eats for Eczema series as well so you can actually see me making some of the recipes including some dessert so yeah I'm just going to make a quick salmon, quinoa and um, salad. So this is the salmon that I buy and it's from Waitrose and um, I don't know if I've spoken to you guys about this before, the difference between organic salmon and wild salmon. So basically organic salmon is salmon that is still farmed, like as in reared in, a, in an organic pool, so to speak, um, but it's still farmed. And um, whereas wild salmon is literally taken from the wild and yeah after buying organic salmon for a while and realizing that actually it's not that much better than any other salmon because it's still farmed it's still fed um like corn and grains and stuff like that to keep it or whatever and that it's best to buy um wild salmon instead so this is the salmon i buy um it's got two pieces in it and if you choose that like, well you'll get like two good pieces out of it and um as you can see it's from Waitrose and they always have this free for £10 offer on which is actually really good for this um, wild fish because it's quite expensive if you buy it anywhere else and the key one I'm going to be using is this one and I bought this from um, Planet Organic today um, because I'd run out of quinoa and um, I'm sure you've seen this before it's tricolor, tricolor quinoa and it's basically got um, red red um, red, black and white quinoa in it so I'm just going to be using that I also wanted to buy like organic green beans but um, I couldn't find them this weekend so I'm just going to make it with um, green peas which is like one of my favourite vegetables and just a bit of salad so yeah I'll show you guys how I do it what's wrong Maya? you need to go to bed you need to go to bed babe no, you can't sit but down. You need to go to bed, Maya. Go and lie down in your bed, please. Maya? No. Maya? You need to go and lie down in your bed. Huh? Maya, you can't sit down. You need to go to bed, please. No, Maya. Come on, you need to go to bed, please. So first of all you're going to get your quinoa and you're just going to rinse it just like you would kind of rice um, and then you're going to double the amount of water of quin to quinoa that you used and as you can see I spilt it because at this point I was just so tired but yeah <laughs> once you've doubled up the water you've added your salt and then you put it to boil but unlike rice you don't need to cover it because it will steam out on its own you just need to turn the fire down once it started to boil. I also add a tablespoon of coconut oil to my quinoa as well because it gives it such a nice flavour.
Now I'm just making the base for my salmon which is what I make all the time and I'm just going to show you briefly how I do it because I have actually recorded this recipe in the Eats for Eczema series and it should be been, it should be put up soon, I'll try and get it up as soon as possible but this fish recipe or sauce is absolutely amazing and the coconut aminos that I use is absolutely amazing as well. So after you've washed your salmon you're just going to slice into it with a knife and then you're just going to add some salt and pepper and that's literally it because the sauce is going to give it all the flavour that you need. So once the sauce is ready you're going to add this on top of your salmon, make sure it gets into the slices that you made earlier and then put it in the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes and then when it's come out then it's done. Look at how gorgeous that looks. Honestly, it's the best fish you will ever have. So guys, this would have officially been my last meal of the day because I'm not eating it now. <laughs> it's gone past midnight. Um, I'm just gonna put it in a bowl and a plate and I'm gonna put it in the fridge for tomorrow. But usually I would add some cooked peas, some cooked beans to it. Um, as well as some rocket and baby leaf salad just to add my greens but yeah so this is it i really hope you enjoyed this video and if you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up and i'll be putting more up soon